Hey everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Just Cause 4. So today I wanted to make a video of all the confirmed planes that are making their way into Just Cause 4. So essentially, I went through all the footage that is available to us, all the gameplay trailers, all the gameplay press demos and all that good stuff. And I picked out all the planes from all of those pieces of footage. So I'm just gonna do a quick list of some of the planes that are gonna be definitely confirmed for Just Cause 4. And if I miss any of them, those, then let me know in the comments down below. So there's actually a few very interesting ones, but I'm gonna leave those for later. First of all, we're obviously gonna begin with some of the ones we already know. Some of the ones that already made an appearance in the previous Just Cause games. And if you guys enjoyed this video or this style of video, let me know by leaving a like on this video and also subscribing if you're new to the channel for plenty more Just Cause 4. But how about we jump straight into this video? So obviously, the propeller plane, the acrobat, is making a return. As far as I'm aware, I cannot see any model changes from Just Cause 3. It pretty much looks identical, but obviously we see it in this bright yellow. But I assume it's gonna come in a variety of colors. Once again, like in Just Cause 3, basically every time you spawn, you would get a different bright color. So it's good to see that plane back. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't have any sort of special abilities. It's probably gonna come with the Nitro, like it did in Just Cause 3, but I don't think it's gonna have any sort of weapons on it. So the next plane that we have actually seen quite a lot of is this, the military fighter jet, which I have to say looks absolutely badass. It very much reminds me of the Dravek from Just Cause 3, but it looks so much sleeker compared to obviously its Just Cause 3 counterpart. It has three missiles on each of its wings. It does appear that the missiles are gonna be guided from some of the gameplay that you guys see later on, as well as having the ability to boost. At the bottom right corner of the screen, you guys can see see the little bar right next to the speedometer and there you can obviously see that it depletes and the person appears to be flying pretty fast. So I assume it is gonna come with nitro and obviously guided missiles as well as the ability to bomb things because you guys can see the little target reticle whenever the jet takes off. Obviously, they had to bring back the fan favorite. As you guys already know or have watched this channel, you guys know that I absolutely love the cargo plane. The Ptaco Jester from Just Cause 3. And it looks like it is making a return in all of its glory. It hasn't changed that much. They even have the exact same paint job on it. And if I'm not mistaken, the number on the back of the Ptaco Jester is identical to the one in Just Cause 3. Maybe it is just a placeholder and that might change. It might give it a different paint coat or whatnot. But it is so cool to see that plane making a return. As we already know, in Just Cause 3, that plane came with boosters as well as a, a cargo hold that you can open while you're flying or you're stationary. So I assume it's gonna have the same kind of abilities in Just Cause 4. It is obviously not gonna have any weapons or missiles on it, but it might be a cool idea to potentially add the ability to have like a mounted turret or something at the back of it when you open up the cargo bay doors because I mean you do have that weapon that you can place down so just imagine flying through the sky with that place down and just raining fire upon your enemy. It is really cool to see this obviously you guys can expect a lot of stunts from me and other content creators using this plane. Now let's get on to some of the new planes that they've introduced. When I say new, I think this one was actually in Just Cause 2. As you guys can see, it is a massive passenger plane. So we did have something like that in Just Cause 2. It was called the Aeroliner 474. And it looks like that is making its way into Just Cause 4, which is very exciting. We're gonna get our hands on yet another massive plane. So obviously it's gonna be used for stunts and other crazy things, but it doesn't look like it has any abilities. I do assume once again, it's gonna have some sort of a nitro. I don't think you'll be able to open up any sort of doors, fold the wings or any of that sort of stuff. I think it's just gonna be your bog standard plane but obviously it's just going to be enormous it's gonna be huge I assume around the same size as the cargo plane obviously in all the gameplay we do see it with this white and green pin code but I assume once again like all the other jets from the previous games you're gonna be able to have a variety of colors once you spawn those in we also get a look at a brand new jet which looks absolutely badass not only does it look tiny and nimble and punks a punch, 
but it also looks like it actually has foldable wings, which means that you're gonna be able to probably put it inside the back of the cargo plane, fly out of it and fly back inside it. It's gonna be great. You can guarantee that I'm gonna make a video on that, but it does look pretty cool. I do like this plane kind of a lot. Obviously, we don't have any names or anything. I couldn't actually find this plane in any of the Just Cause games that have been released so far, so I think it's gonna be a brand new addition to the game. It does appear like it's just gonna come with boost as well as single rocket fire. Obviously, the other military jet comes with four missiles that are being fired all at once and they're guided, but this one does appear to only shoot one missile at a time. Kind of similar to one of those military jets from Jaskos 3 that escapes my mind, but it's going to be cool to see obviously the variety of different military jets that we're going to see in Jaskos 4. So this one unfortunately we just get a very short clip of it, but we do indeed get a glider. A glider that's making its way into Jaskos 4. I think it's gonna be one of those vehicles that the players are just gonna abuse the hell out of it. They're probably just gonna blow it up, crush it into things. I think it's gonna be a vehicle that's gonna be super fun to use as well for obviously stunts and any other crazy action. I don't think it's gonna come with any nitro or anything as it is propeller powered so I don't think obviously they're gonna introduce any sort of nitro or weapon onto this. It's probably just gonna be a cool vehicle to just fly it around in and explore the world of Solis. So now we're gonna get into the things that haven't been showcased prominently. So I did catch two glimpses of potential new jets that are gonna be added into Jaskos 4. As you guys can see through the sky, there is a jet flying. And it does appear like the engines of that jet are located at the back of it, which does make me think that it's none of the jets we have seen so far. However, there is actually a jet like that in Jaskos 2 called the Cassius 192. So basically, it looks pretty much identical. It's one of those like private jet looking things. So it looks like we are actually going to see private jets in Jaskos 4, which once again is just great because I like vehicle variety. Obviously, the more planes, the better in a Just Cause game, because that means we can do more crazy stunts. So another jet that I have managed to spot is actually in Mess Yourselves video. Basically, in the background, you guys can see, I'm going to zoom in so you can see it a little bit more clearly. We see a glimpse of a plane flying through the sky. At first, I thought it's just going to be one of the military planes, but then I really looked at it, and it doesn't really look like it's shaped like one of those military planes, as it is a little bit more triangular than the other ones because you don't actually see any sort of gaps in the wings but if we look at obviously all the other planes that we saw and discussed in this video all of them have gaps between the front and the back wings but this one just doesn't which leads me to believe that this could be an entirely new plane that we haven't seen in any of the gameplay footage before or it could be the plane the small little military plane with foldable wings maybe you're gonna have two different modes of travel maybe you have this super speed mode which basically is gonna mean you're gonna fold your wings and the plane is gonna travel at faster speeds. I just don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this one because honestly, I just don't know what to think right now. But anyway, guys, that is all I have for you. Those are all the planes that I have found through all the gameplay footage that we've seen of Just Cause 4. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. If I've missed anything, point it out to me. If you've got the link or maybe a timestamp on a video, let me know in the comments down below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, or found it informational, leave a like on it, subscribe for plenty more Just Cause 4, and if you haven't already, make sure to join my Discord and Twitch, link to that is in the description. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, hope you're gonna have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, goodbye, bye 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 bye.